All right, hi everybody. Good evening. Welcome to today's 60 minute yoga practice. I'm really looking forward to this one. We're gonna start out with some calming breathing and then kind of take our time stretching out through all different parts of the body before we move on to a flow that's pretty focused on balancing. Um, this is because balancing is like important to, to do, but also if you're having kind of like an anxious or scattered or frazzled day, the amount of focus necessary to balance on one leg is like pretty intense. And so I've at least found in my practice that though it might be more challenging on frazzled days to practice balancing, it ultimately helps bring me back to myself and like to my literal center since you need to find your center of gravity to balance. So if you're not feeling anxious and frazzled today, it'll still be a great flow. But if you're feeling a little bit that way, I know many of us like maybe just shut our computers, stopped working or hustled home from the office. I hope that this class feels like a breath of fresh air for you. Um, so we're gonna get started seated in, in order to do some alternate nostril breathing. Grab your favorite seat, whether that's in a chair or on the ground on a block. You could even sit in the couch. In the couch, you could sit on the couch. I am starting the playlist right now if you'd like to follow along. And go ahead and make your way to your comfy seat. Take your time, move nice and easy. I'll be sitting on a block to lift my hips up, but you can do whatever feels best to you, legs, however. And start already to bring a little more awareness to your physical body. You're finding a comfy spot. You're drawing the spine up as long and tall as you can. Palms rest, palms hand rest, palms down on your thighs for a little more grounding and settling. If you're looking to receive some energy, flip your palms up. Close your eyes or maybe close them half or three quarters of the way, minimizing visual distractions and take a couple moments here just to start noticing your breath. Use this noticing in the breath to notice what's going on with your body. Notice where you're feeling stiff or crunchy. Notice what's feeling really good. And take a moment just to acknowledge what you brought to the mat with you today. Yoga can be a really amazing form of stress relief, but I feel like there's also sometimes the pressure to be like, good vibes only. Yes, we love yoga, peace and love and light, but like that's just not how life is. So if you had a tough day, or you're feeling frazzled, or sad, know that all of those parts of you have a place in this practice. You don't have to push them aside before you can begin. Take a big breath in through both nostrils. And a sigh out your mouth, feeling your body soften and relax. Two more like that, breathing in. Breathing out, emptying all the way. One more like that, breathe in and expand. Breathe out. Bring your right hand up to your face. Close your right nostril with your thumb and release your last two fingers. Take a breath in through your left nostril. Plug the left nostril, exhale out your right nostril. Now inhale, right nostril. Plug right, exhale left. Good, inhale left. Plug left, exhale right. Inhale right. Plug right, exhale left. Keep going. Moving as slowly and mindfully as you can.
Pay attention to the way that the air feels as it enters each nostril. And see if you might invite the body to soften and relax each time you exhale. Could you relax your shoulders a little while staying up tall? Notice any clenching in the jaw, in the eyebrows. Take two more full, slow rounds on your own, observing and resisting any urge to rush through this. Good. The second time you exhale out your left nostril, bring your hands back down to your thighs and just observe any shifts you notice through your body or your mind. And use this moment of heightened awareness inward to set some sort of an intention for your practice. Do not overthink it. Trust that the first thing that comes to mind, whether it's a word or a phrase or a feeling, maybe practice anchoring in that and seeing where it might go as you choose to focus on that thing throughout practice. Take a big breath in through both nostrils. And a big breath out your mouth, letting go. Open your eyes, gently release your right ear to your right shoulder. Keep these full, steady breaths here as you start to explore sensations through the side of the neck. Energetically send your left shoulder back in space and lift the left ear up towards the sky. Big breath in. Big breath out. Good, draw your chin down to your chest, stretching along the back of your neck. Lift your head up to center, drop left ear to left shoulder, stretching through the other side of your neck. Imagine you could pull your right front of your shoulder head a little more back in space. Lift the right ear up towards the sky, big breath in. And a big breath out. Good, draw your chin back down towards your chest just once more. Now as you breathe in, draw a line up with your chin, reaching up towards the sky. When you reach your top of where your head can comfortably reach, start to open and close your jaw, stretching the underside of your chin. You might turn your head side to side a little. Noticing any tension through the throat, through the jaw, and then return your head to center. Nice job. Take a big breath in, reach both arms up high. And as you breathe out, find a side bend towards your right. You can tend to your fingertips on the earth, reach for whatever is accessible. Big stretch through the left side body. Couple breaths here. Maybe you're rolling out the wrist. Stretching through the left rib cage. Good, connect to your core as you breathe in, lift back to center, both arms high. And as you exhale, take it down to the other side, using your left hand against the ground for support. Couple breaths here. Reaching all the way from the right hip out through the right fingertips. Use your core, lift yourself back to center, both arms high. Exhale, bend to the right, we'll match breath to movement. Now inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Good, inhale, center, stretch tall. Exhale, bend right. 
Inhale, center. Exhale, bend. Less once more, all on your own. One more round. Nice job. As you return to center your last time, draw your hands down to heart center and grab for your strap or your dog leash or your extra pair of pants, whatever you have. If you can more comfortable to switch positions for this, we're going to do a little shoulder flossing. So find what's going to work for you. I'm going to stand on my knees just to switch it up. Grab a wide grip on your, on your strap here. So send your arms out wider than shoulder width distance. Start to tug a little bit onto this strap, just noticing that engagement through the shoulders. And as you breathe in, lift your arms up any amount. We're opening through the front of the shoulders, through the pecs. Maybe you start to send your arms back behind you. Take some time here just to notice what this feels like, observing where you feel a stretch, where you feel resistance, open and close the jaw, breathe in here. And as you exhale, send the arms forward, finding a little cat pose through the back, but really pulling on the strap with both arms to stretch across the tops of the shoulders. You might tuck your chin down, you might not. Same thing here, notice what's happening. Spend a few breaths, just exploring some small movements. And when you're ready, you can start to flow here, making this totally your own, breathing in to open up through the front body and breathing out to open up through the back body. Stay connected to your breath here. Maybe you get a little creative, do some figure eights with the strap. If you're like, what are you talking about? Then don't worry about it. Take three more rounds of breath. Good, take your time. When you're all done, you can set your strap off towards the side. We're not gonna use it again for a little while. Make your way to child's pose. Toes touch, knees are as wide as feels comfy. Fingertips crawl forward, rest your forehead on the mat, allow your heart to melt down. Maybe you find a little bit of movement here, just rocking side to side, maybe wiggling your hips a little from side to side, like you're a dinosaur, something a giant tail behind you. Take a big breath in, feel your rib cage expand. And a big breath out. Crawl your fingertips off towards the right, finding a big stretch through the left side body, breathing in. Breathing out, relaxing down into the ground beneath you. Again, like that, breathing in. Breathing out. Make your way back to center, crawl over towards the left side this time. Big stretch for the right side body, two rounds of breath. Good, return to center. Bring your hands a little closer to your body so you can put some weight into your hands. We're gonna do some hip hinges here. So this might feel better more in like a quasi tabletop for you. Maybe it feels good with your hips down like child's pose to start to rock side to side. And maybe you start to draw like a little parentheses, a little half circle in each direction. We're just checking in with the hips here. There's no wrong way to do this. If you're trying to copy what I'm doing and it doesn't feel good, find something that feels better. Good, keep going with this, nice and easy, bringing the hips into just a way of mobility that if we've been sitting or just standing for a lot of the day, they haven't found. And start to make these hip hinges a little bigger till you find yourself all the way up into a tabletop. You can take your time. 
Nice job. So tabletop is where we are. Spread your hands really wide and think about this connection that your hands are making with the ground. See if you can transfer a little more energy to the earth, strengthening through your hands. And as you breathe in, drop your belly, lift your chin, cow pose. Same thing here. Maybe you're still keeping these waves side to side. Energetically slide the heels of your hands back towards the rest of your body, breathing in. As you breathe out, find cat pose, rounding your spine, sending the heart up to the sky. And I invite you to keep it really weird here. Keep finding these movements side to side. Maybe you close your eyes if that feels comfortable to you. Start to move between cat and cow, adding in any other movements that feel good as you start to awaken through the body. Could you make your breath a little more intentional as it guides your movement? Three more full rounds of breath with whatever you're playing with right now. Good. When you're all done, we'll meet back in a static tabletop. Moving into a little thread the needle here, plant your right palm onto the mat, maybe more in the center of the earth as you breathe and reach the left arm up high, reach, reach, reach through left fingertips. And as you exhale, tuck the left arm under the right, but we're hovering here, getting a little rotation through the top of the spine, reaching, lengthening left fingertips. Notice your core turning on to help support you here. Notice your strong right arm holding you, breathe in, reach all the way back up. Exhale, tuck and hover, engaging through the core. Let's do this once more. Breathe in all the way up. Breathing out, reach and hover, 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 and then release and to thread the needle, resting the side of your head, your shoulder down. Find what you need here to open up through the chest. Maybe you find a little half spine. Take two big breaths into your rib cage. Good, at the bottom of your second breath, bring your right hand back to the earth. If it left, breathe in, reach the left arm up high. And exhale, tabletop. Find that on the other side, left hand to the center of the mat. Breathe in, reach the right fingertips high, 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 stretching. And exhale to tuck and hover, moving slowly and mindfully. Check in here, notice all the muscles supporting you as you reach the right arm through, hovering it off the earth. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, tuck and hover. Think about lengthening the right arm as long as you can. Inhale, up high. Exhale, tuck and hover just for a moment. Reach, reach, reach. And then release into your stretchy thread, the needle, finding what you need, letting the breath be buoyant and big. Two breaths. Bring the left hand back to the earth. Inhale, right arm up high, high, high. And exhale, tabletop. Good. Now, tuck your toes underneath. Activate your hands against the earth. You might rotate your hands out just a little bit. So index fingers point straight forward. And then hug the front body up to meet the back body and lift your knees up off the ground, hovering tabletop. Now notice the urge to find cat pose in your back. Can you think reaching the spine as long as you can, sending your tailbone back, reaching the crown of your head forward, the back of the neck is long. Energetically slide your hands back towards your knees. Feel your core turn on. You can stay like this. For a little more, join me in marching, lowering the right knee, then lifting, left knee, and lifting. Good, you're here for four. Just for three, you're doing amazing. Keep breathing, just for two. And one, step straight back to high plank. Arms stay just as they are. Think about hugging your belly button up and in like it's giving your spine a huge hug. Activate your legs, squeeze your butt. You can stay just like this, breathing powerfully for a little more, start to march the knees, lowering right, 
then left, good, right, then left, you're here just for four, just for three, yes you can, down dog in two, down dog and one, use your core, lift your hips up and back, nice job, pedal out through your leg, think about sending your tailbone up high towards the sky, couple breaths here, opening up along the back body. Nice job. Go gently lower back down to your knees. We're gonna do that killer calf stretch we found a couple weeks ago. Bring one of your knees onto the back of your other calf. We're gonna do both, so do whichever one you want first. And you're using the pressure of your knee into your calf to find all those spots where you wanna scream. And instead of screaming, <laughs> maybe you ease up a little on the pressure and then breathe. And work your way all around the calf down towards your ankle, holy smokes. Definitely bring the breath here. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you're a runner, you'll really feel this, but I'm not a runner. And I am like, why, what's going on calf? What are you not telling me? You're like, Abby, we scream at you all day and you don't listen. So this is, you know, this is how it goes. All right. Return to tabletop, tuck your toes, lift your hips back up high, down dog. Take this time to notice the difference between the calf that you just stretched and the one that is about to get stretched. Just appreciating what a little mindful breath and movement can do. And when you're ready, lower back down, switch out your sides. Woo. Something I really love about a yoga practice is that it's really taught me to move towards discomfort and breathe through it rather than distracting from it or running away or denying that it's there at all. So I don't know if that's something you identify with at all, but if you are feeling discomfort through the calf with this stretch, this might be a great time to practice breathing through it, facing the thing that's uncomfortable and moving through it rather than around it. And when you are done, find your way back to downward facing dog. Whew. All right, lift your hips, pedal out the legs, noticing any shifts, any changes. Take a big breath in, look forward. Exhale, ragdoll pose. Walk your feet up behind your wrists. Big fold, bend your knees as much as you want. Keep them as wide as feels good. Give your body whatever it's asking for here. Maybe a twist, maybe a chest expansion, maybe just some stillness, three breaths. Good, relax your hands back down towards the ground. Bring your feet a little closer together. Bend your knees super generously and start to unroll your spine, slowly moving to standing here. Stacking each vertebrae on top of another like little Legos. And when you reach the top, you give yourself a high five. You don't have to do that. I just didn't know what else to say. Okay, <laughs> moving right along. Find a comfortable position standing at the top of your mat. Spread your toes wide, use the whole surface area of your feet to draw support and energy up through your strong legs. Turn your core on, imagine that you are giving yourself a big hug all through the midsection in the back as you breathe in, reach your arms up high. As you exhale, twist to the right, squeeze your glutes, peel the right arm back, left arm forward, lengthening through both arms as much as you can. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, twist to the left, core is on, hips stay pointing forward, big wingspan here, stretch, stretch, stretch. Good, inhale, come to center. Exhale, back bend, bump your hips forward. Think about lifting your heart up. Maybe you find cactus arms. Inhale, mountain, long, straight spine. Exhale, fold forward, bend your knees. Inhale, lift halfway. 
Exhale, high plank and pause just for a moment. In lieu of cobra today, I'm going to offer a different plank variation each time, but as always, do whatever you want with this portion of the flow. We're going to march again here, so lower right, then lift, good, lower left, then left two more, lower right, then lift, left, and lift one more. Am I Jane Fonda? I like really feel like it. And then use your core, lift your hips up. Let's flow through that now, matching breath to movement. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Walk to meet your hands. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, mountain, push your feet down. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, twist left. Beautiful job. Inhale, center. Exhale, back bend. Open your heart. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, high plank and pause. This time we're going to lift one leg and the other. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the right leg. Lift the left toes off the earth any amount. And lower, squeeze the left leg, lift the right leg. Good, two more, lift the left leg. And lower, yes, lift the right leg. And lower, once more through, you got it. Beautiful breath, awesome job. And then use your core, lift your hips. Last time through, inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain, stretch. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, high plank and pause. You can hold a static high plank or you can join me with reaching one arm forward and then the other. So maybe separate your feet a little wider apart. Squeeze your legs and your butt. Lift the left arm and lower. Lift the right arm. Try to keep your weight in the center as much as you can. Lift the left arm and down. Amazing job. Lift the right arm and down. One more time through, you got it. Left arm. And down, so good, right arm. And down, breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice job. All right, let's move on. This is our son B next. It's gonna incorporate quite a bit of balancing. So a reminder to stick to your intention that you set earlier as an anchor and use your breath as an anchor for the movement here. Breathe in, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, walk to meet your hands. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, sink your hips down and back, reach your arms up. Good, get comfy here. We're here for a second. You got it. Sink your hips further back. Think about using glute strength and hamstring strength. Don't rely just on the tops of your legs here. Can you... Think a little further back, like you're reaching for that tiny, tiny kindergarten chair. Breathe in, reach your fingertips long. Exhale, drinking bird or chair plane. Send your arms back. Option to rise up onto your toes, any amount. Good, hold and breathe here. You're doing amazing. Can you lift your heart up like it's attached to a string? We're lifting the left leg here. Inhale, one leg mountain. Lift the left leg, good. Pause for a moment here, get solidified, feel sturdy and strong. This is our home base shape at the beginning of this flow. You can stay right here, you do not need to move on. If you want to move on, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, curtsy squat, dip your left toes back and around, hovering the toes if you can, resting them on the earth if you need to. Think about finding a long and straight spine and use hamstring and glute strength here. Good. Inhale, one leg mountain, rise back up. Exhale, twist to the left. You're twisting towards your lifted leg. Arms can be out at a T 
or you can bring right arm to left thigh. Good, think about lifting your heart here, turn your core on, use it to twist half an inch deeper, amazing. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, standing figure four, left ankle crosses over right wrist. Sink your hips down and back. Good, find that long diagonal with your spine here. Tune into the breath more. Balancing is really about the wobble and the fall. It's not about sticking the landing every time. Inhale, one leg mountain. Ooh. Exhale, crescent with airplane arms. Step back, send your fingertips back. Good, adjust your legs as you need to so you feel stable and secure in this shape. Pinch your shoulder blades behind you like you're holding a pencil. Think about popping your heart up saying, hello, here's my heart. Ah, like that do that good this is a big transition you're welcome to stay here and skip the next pose it is totally up to you inhale exalted warrior lift the left arm up you're twisting towards the right knee right hand might come to the belly of your left hamstring maybe to your low back this is a twist and a back bend but i want you to think about lengthening the front of your left hip Take one more big breath in here, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Adjust your legs as you need to. Push both feet down, hug your heels towards each other. Arms are long and strong out at your sides. Use your back hand's fingers to pull you in that direction just a little bit. A lot of us are usually very leaning forward. We want shoulders directly over hips. Good, inhale, reverse warrior. Lift your right arm up. You might be bending off to the side. Maybe you're just reaching straight up. Either way, you're staying committed to this lunge in the front knee, embracing the discomfort, breathing through any sensations of shaking, breathe in. Exhale, extended side angle. Option to rest your arm on your thigh. Think about squeezing your left butt cheek and your left hip. Pin the pinky edge of your left foot down. Can you tighten your core? Lift your heart up towards the sky, good. Inhale, straighten the front leg, reverse triangle. You might be reaching straight up, maybe reaching back. Good, breathe in. Exhale, wide leg forward, fold, flip your right toes to face forward. Loop yourself down. Three breaths here to find what you need. Maybe you're doing some lateral lunges side to side. Maybe you're just pointing your tailbone up towards the sky, thinking about lengthening, lengthening through your hamstring. Good, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, low lunge towards your right foot. We're moving to a side plank here. As you inhale, shift weight to your left hand. Bring the right leg back. You might be resting your left knee on the ground. Maybe your feet are stacked. Maybe it's like you're walking on a tightrope. Either way, look down at your left hand. Move your left shoulder so it's right over your left wrist. Good. Use all your core strength to lift your side bodies up. You're doing amazing. Reach your right fingertips as tall as you can. Breathe in. Exhale, high plank and downward facing dog. Lift your hips, nice job. Let's go through nice and slow on the other side here. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, walk to meet your hands. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, sink down and back. Reach the arms up high. Think about tucking your tailbone underneath you. Good, sinking back, activating your hamstrings and glutes. Biceps, frame your face. Take a big breath in. Big breath out, amazing job. One more inhale, can you sink one inch further back? As you exhale, drinking bird or chair plane, bring your arms back, pinch your shoulder blades together, lift your heart. Option to lift your onto your toes any amount. Keep your spine long, keep your heart lifted. We're lifting the right leg, right leg. Inhale, one leg mountain, lift to the right leg. 
As you exhale, stay here, feel stable and supported. You don't have to move on. You can stay just like this. If you want more, breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, curtsy squat, hands to heart center. Right toes curl around, challenge yourself. Maybe you can lift your toes off the ground for one second. Good. Activate more glute strength here, more glutes. Inhale, one leg mountain, really slow, come back up. Exhale, twist to the right, twisting towards the right leg, reaching both fingertips as long as you can. So good. Lift through the top of your head. Squeeze your core for stability. Beautiful. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, figure four, cross right ankle over left knee, sink back. Enjoy the stretch through the right hip. Appreciate the work that your left hip is doing for you here. Whoo, good. Inhale, one leg mountain. Unwind, nice and strong. Exhale, crescent with airplane arms. Float yourself back. Good, adjust your feet as you need to. Feet are on parallel track. Strong lunge in the front knee. Back leg is active to help support you. Imagine you're squeezing a beach ball behind you, lifting through the heart. You can stay just like this, working all this engagement through the back or inhale, exalted warrior. You're twisting to your left, reaching the right arm up and back to lengthen through this right hip. Maybe resting your left hand on your hamstring, thinking about pushing the hamstring into the hand, maybe on the low back for some support. One more breath in to lengthen the right hip. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Good, adjust. Find stability through both feet. Think about sending your left knee more towards your pinky toe than your big toe. You might feel your inner thigh turn on to help externally rotate the hip. Good, fingertips are long and strong. Maybe you bring a little smile to your face. Ooh. Inhale, reverse warrior. <laughs> Beautiful. Recommit to this lunge. Can you go half an inch deeper? Can you soften your toes? Can you soften your face? Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. The choice is yours if you rest the arm. Breathing here. Remember to squeeze this back hip, thinking about sending the hip further down so you feel supported through your pelvis. Reaching high as you can. Inhale, straighten the front leg, reverse triangle. Hmm. Either press your big toe down or pop your heel up like a little jester. Up to you. Inhale. Exhale, wide leg forward fold, left toes point forward and swoop down. Your choice here for three breaths. Find movement or stillness. Think back to your intention for this practice. And as we begin to flow through this section, how might you use your intention to anchor all of your movements? Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, low lunge towards the left foot, towards the left foot. Setting up for a side plank on the right side. Push the right hand into the ground. As you breathe in, step the left foot back, open up. Check to make sure your shoulder is over your wrist. This helps protect your shoulder. Also, low key makes this harder. So engage all of the muscles of your body to help you here. You're so much stronger than you're giving yourself credit for. Wanting to quit and deciding to quit are not the same. So if you can stay for just a couple more breaths, bring the breath, reach the left fingertips up high, inhale. Exhale, high plank, and then down dog. Nice job. Good, we're gonna flow through now just once. Matching breath to movement, take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Here we go, inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sink. Exhale, chair plane or drinking bird. Lift the left leg, inhale, one leg mountain. Stay or as you exhale, curtsy squat. 
Inhale, one leg mountain. Move slow like you're moving through molasses. Exhale, twist towards your lifted knee. Good, inhale, center. Exhale, standing figure four. Sink the hips back, back, back. You got it. Whew. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, crescent with airplane arms. Good, stay here or inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Inhale, reverse, keep the legs active. Exhale, extended side angle, keep your core strong. Inhale, straighten the front leg, toes point forward. Exhale, wide leg forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, low lunge to your front foot and step back to high plank. Chest taps here, activating the legs, lifting one arm to tap your opposite shoulder, then down, then opposite shoulder lift and down. Good, two more, lift and lower, moving slow, lift and lower. Last time through, you got it, lift and lower. Yes, lift and lower, lift your hips, down dog. Last time through, big breath in, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, last chair of class. Exhale, drinking bird or chair plane. Lift the right leg, inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, curtsy squat, sink back. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, twist to your right. Good. Inhale, one leg mountain, great control. Exhale, standing figure four. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, crescent with airplane arms, float back. Stay right here or inhale, exalted warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, core is strong. Exhale, extended side angle, limbs are long. Inhale, reverse triangle, flip your toes forward. Exhale, wide leg fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, low lunge, step back to high plank. Choose your own adventure here. You can repeat any of the ones we've done before. You're doing three sets of each. Maybe you're mixing it up a little. No wrong way to do it, just bring the breath, challenge yourself, believe you can do it. And then with a confident breath out, send your hips back to downward facing dog. Nice job, lower down to your knees. You can grab a little water, whatever you need. Woo, balancing, so hard. You did amazing. Okay. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of belly down spine strengthening since we've been skipping Cobra as part of the flow. And then what this class has really been working up to, which is supported camel flow. So a chance to really open up through the chest and the shoulders, and then we'll wind it on down on the mat. So there's gonna be a whole other balancing section, but I have decided to cut it. So I'm looking at Carl, you're welcome. All right, meet me laying down on your belly when you get a moment. Whoa. Bring your hands down to your lowest ribs. Elbows are cricketed up towards the sky. You might separate your feet a little wider for more support, or if you're ready for a big challenge, you can zip your legs up behind you. Empty all the air from your lungs. Pinch your shoulder blades together as you breathe and peel your heart up, cobra pose. Push your hands down into the ground, then drag them back towards your hips. Notice how that creates a little more space to activate through the upper back and lift. Press your hips down into the ground. Use the strength of your glutes to anchor them there. Tuck your chin slightly so the back of your neck is long. Are you still breathing? Breathe in. Exhale, lower down to your belly. Rest your arms at your side. Let your arms go limp at your sides. Just rest.
Good. Bring your chin back to center. This time, zip your legs up behind you. Lots of arms variations for locusts. They could be out at a T, maybe goal posted, or you can grab for a chest expansion. It's up to you. Empty all your air from your lungs. As you breathe in, lift your chest up first because that's familiar. This is like flying cobra. And then start to use the strength of your legs to lift them into the air. So you're pushing your pelvis down. Lift your thighs from the front of your legs. And think about lengthening your inner leg line to squeeze your legs closer together. Good. There is no arriving in this shape. You're going to be negotiating with your body and breath the whole time. But think about lifting your toes as much as you can and lifting through your upper body. Take one more big breath and you got it. Exhale, lower down, rest the opposite cheek on the mat. Let your arms rest at your sides. Breathe here. Feel your heart beating against the mat. Relish the sensation of your muscles relaxing and melting here. Good, last one. Bring your chin back to center. Option for floor bow, or you can repeat either of the ones we just did. For floor bow, kick your heels towards your butt. Grab for the outsides of your feet. Wiggle your knees as close to touch as you can to protect them. Empty all your air. As you breathe in, start to kick your feet first. Kick, kick, kick your feet into your hands. Let that pressure of feet against hands be what starts to lift your chest. Push your belly into the ground. Think about squeezing your legs together and lifting your legs again from the front of your hip flexors. Good, you're creating this U shape with your body. Kick, 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 kicking through the feet. Think about broadening your collarbones. Keep breathing, you're doing amazing. One more breath in. Exhale, slowly lower and release. Rest your hands at your side, just rest. How quickly can you make this totally passive? While we're here, we'll take shoulder pigeon, arms go out at a T, start to gently roll over onto your right shoulder. Your arm might go at a different angle or maybe it likes to bend. There's a lot of different ways for this to feel good in your body, but we're looking for a stretch across the front of the right pecs and the front of the right shoulder. Breathe here, sending your breath to the spots that feel sticky, maybe uncomfortable. Good, come back to center, start to make your way onto the other side. Be open to the possibility of this side feeling really different for you. Maybe your body needs something else, can't stretch as much. It's all good. Check in with your jaw. Are you holding any extra tension there? Good, gently return to center and press yourself up to standing on your knees. Find your block. We'll move now through a supported camel flow. Sometimes I call this stargazer. Today I'm calling it supported camel flow, you know. So lots of ways to set this up. Bring your blocks to both sides of you. I like to keep mine on the highest height. You can do whatever you want. And you can either stay standing on your knees for this or kind of come down. I like to do kind of child pose legs and then come up to reach. But again, this is about what feels good in your body. So set yourself up. We're going to rest the left hand on the left blocks first. And as you breathe in, you're reaching your right fingertip up and back pushing your hips forward, opening up through the whole front line of your body. We're here for a couple breaths. You're not 
squeezing your glutes, but you are using glute strength to support your low back. So feel into what feels best for you there as you breathe, reaching the fingertips as far as feels comfortable, breathing in. As you breathe out, come all the way back down. Nice job. Right hand on the right block this time. As you inhale, sweep the left arm up and back, stretching, expanding. Can you find more length for your torso coming up out of your hips? Supporting through the low back, letting the breath be as full as it can be here, breathing in. And as you breathe out, come back down. We'll match breath to movement now two times. Left hand on the left block. Inhale, reach and stretch. Exhale, come back down. Other side, inhale. And exhale, last time through is all on your own. You can go slower if that feels better to you. Nice job. When you're all done with your last one, you can have a seat flat on your butt, send your toes out long in front of you. And we're going to zombie our arms out forward and lower all the way down onto our back, lowering down for four, for three, for two, and one all the way down. We'll do a couple bridges here to move out of the really big back bend. So we'll do some milder back bends to just kind of ease the body back into neutrality. So bring your hands down towards your hips, push your feet into the floor. As you breathe in, lift your hips up, pause and breathe. Wiggle your shoulder blades closer together if that feels best. Notice if your rib cage is like pow, splaying out, draw your ribs in, feel that activation through your core. You're here, you're just breathing. We've been squeezing the block between our thighs in this shape the last couple of weeks in class. So notice how it feels to not have the block there. Can you simulate that same engagement by activating your inner leg line? Thinking about sending the knees a little closer together though in reality, they're parallel. Good, one more big breath in here, strong legs. And as you exhale, come all the way down. Good, bring your feet a little wider, knock your knees in, finding broken bridge. Bring your hands somewhere that feels comforting to you, maybe left hand to the heart, right hand to the belly. And just take a couple moments after all of that back bending to notice the way it feels to be completely supported by the earth. Notice your heartbeat. Feel your breath moving through your body. And gently roll on to one side, press yourself up to a seat. We'll do a big seated fold and then be back down on our backs. So toes are long out in front of you, wiggle any flesh out from underneath. Flex your toes back towards your shin. Breathe in, reach up high. And exhale, seated, forward fold. Keeping the knees as bent. This feels good. Just giving this last little bit of love to the low back. You might even feel this a little in the outer hips after how much work they did balancing for us today. Then when you're ready, slowly come back up. And then with just as much control, make your way all the way back down again. Good. We'll find figure four on our backs here. So bring your right leg to cross over the left, right ankle. Flex your toes back towards your shin. Maybe you stay just like this. For a little more, lift your legs up towards your chest.
Let your shoulders rest heavy down towards the ground. Good. You can stay just like this for a little bit of a different hip stretch. Keep your legs as they are. Then bring the right foot down towards the ground. Left leg follows. So your right knee is pointing straight up towards the sky. Use your left hand to hold on to your right shin. And then if it feels good, you can use your right hand to gently push your right leg away. This is a big stretch for right outer thigh. There's lots of stuff in there, especially after balancing. This might feel really good. Now gently bring yourself back to center, unwind your legs, and we'll trade out the legs. So left ankle crosses over right knee, flex your toes back towards your shin. If you want more, find whatever feels best. You can even use your left elbow to push the left knee away from you, deepening the stretch. Maybe here you start to make your exhales a little consciously longer than the inhales. You start to relax your body. You can stay like this or let the left foot fall off towards the right side, finding that stretch for the outer left hip might even kind of bring, maybe you bring both hands in and you're massaging in the hip crease. No rules. Good. Gently return to center. Hug both of your knees in towards your chest. Let the left leg go long, squeezing the right knee up and out towards the right armpit. Really feel that compression, thigh against chest. Take a big breath in. Now as you exhale, supine twist, right leg comes across the body. Arms unfold. Take three breaths into your belly button. You return to center, give your right leg a squeeze. Trade it out for the left leg, squeezing the left leg up and in, compressing your thigh against your rib cage. Breathe in. Exhale, twist. Three breaths to the belly button here softening everything, relaxing into the earth. Come back to center, both knees hug in, stamp your feet on the ceiling, find happy baby, grabbing for the backs of your legs, maybe your shins. Find whatever you need here. Our next shape is our final resting pose. So if there's any last little stretches or cracks and pops you wanna get out, go for it. Good, hug both knees in towards your chest. Pull yourself into a teeny tiny ball. Take one more sip of air. And as you exhale, unwind into your final Shavasana, your resting pose. 
If it doesn't feel good to have your legs out long, bring the bottoms of your feet to the earth, maybe your knees knock together. Take a big breath in through your nose, fill up. And an open mouth exhale, allowing the body to release and relax. Use the tools of attention you've been cultivating throughout class to find a softness through your mind, a soft focused attention on your body and your breath. And every time you notice your mind drifts away, you can just notice that with a big breath in and allow yourself to return to this moment, this moment in your body as you breathe out. And you invite more release into the shoulders and your arms. And softening your hands and your feet, feeling the length of your body growing heavy. And you can stay just like this, but if you're ready to be guided out, start to deepen your breath, big breath in. And a big breath out. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Start to find yourself in a big full body stretch. Noticing how good it feels bring attention to the body and the breath, noticing the effects of your practice. And roll on to your favorite side, finding fetal pose. And in this last little quiet private moment with yourself before the world comes crashing back in, can you whisper to yourself something about your intention that you want to carry with you into the rest of your day. And when you're ready, press yourself up to a tall, proud seat. And we'll close with three big breaths together. Find your long, tall spine, hands down on the thighs, for more grounding, hands up in a gesture of willingness to receive. Take a big breath in through your nose, feel your spine growing taller. And a big breath out, feeling something releasing. Again, like that, breathing in. Breathing out, letting go. Last one, breathing in, biggest breath of all Wednesday. And breathing out. Bring your palms to touch at heart center. Lift them up to your third eye, merging heart and mind. May all beings everywhere be happy, healthy, safe, and free. 
bow in gratitude to each of you. Thank you for sharing this practice. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for being here. I hope if you are stressed and frazzled at the start, you're feeling a little more in control and calm. You still feel frazzled. Take some breath. <laughs> Do some alternate astral breathing. Um, I will see you on the first of the month. I am not going to be doing a Wednesday evening class next week, which I think is the, the 29th or the 30th. So I will see you next time. Thank you again so much for being here and take good care.